Now, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video, and please welcome back once again to my channel. But just in case you're here for the first time and you do love politics, I just want to assure you that this is the best platform for all the political activities that are currently happening across the country, for the political updates, and also for the best political analysis. So kindly support me by subscribing and also don't forget to press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you through the notifications immediately I upload a video here. Otherwise, to my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers, and to my supporters, I really want to appreciate you so much for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome and I don't take your support for granted. Let us go straight into our analysis and I just want to try in as much as possible to be very much brief in this video. So the Azimio Logmoja Alliance or the Azimio One Kenya Alliance published this banner here. Let me just show you on the screen. Advertising Raila Odinga's anti-Ruto demonstrations to be conducted in Caltex grounds in Likoni County in the coastal region. So you can clearly see Raila Odinga there, the uh, Mombasa County Governor Abdul Somad, and also several Azimio Omoja Alliance leaders. And you cannot fail to see the former Mombasa County Governor, Honorable Ali Hassan Joho. So basically, the person who published this knew it very well that uh, the former Mombasa County Governor, Honorable Ali Hassan Joho, would attend that event. But of course, just as usual, Honorable Joho boycotted that rally. And I'm told that according to the information that I'm having here, Rayla Odinga convened a meeting together with several Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders from the coastal region one day before his rally in Likoni County. Several Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders were also boycotted at uh, that meeting convened by Rayla Odinga, including Honorable Ali Hassan Yo. And that simply tells as to why majority of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance elected leaders from the coastal region boycotted uh, that rally made by or conducted by Raila Odinga. So in this video today, I'm just going to give you my critical analysis on why Honorable Ali Hassan Joe has been avoiding Raila Odinga completely. He has been boycotting uh, his uh, meetings and his events or the Azimio Lomoja Alliance events, despite the fact that Raila Odinga must invite him in each and every political event that he must carry out because he is one of them. He is part of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. So in my considered opinion, Honorable Ali Hassan Joe boycotting Raila Odinga's political events simply explains uh, the bitter fallout between Ali Hassan Joe and Raila Odinga together with several Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. Let me give you the root cause of this. Remember that in the previous 2022 general elections and the campaigns that were conducted, Honorable Ali Hassan Joho and the Sunnah East member of the National Assembly, uh, Junet Mohammed, were on the forefront campaigning and organizing Raila Odinga's campaigns across the country. But immediately Raila Odinga failed to, the, to clinch to the presidency or he immediately he lost the previous 2022 general election to William Ruto. There were several blame games there. And uh, Joho was part of the blame game. Majority of Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders were pointing fingers at Joho and Junet Mohammed, saying that uh, uh, they, they are the reasons as to why Raila Odinga uh, failed to clinch to the presidency. So because of that issue, that is when now Ali Hassan Joho and Junet Mohammed are completely avoiding each and every Azimio Lomoja Alliance political event. That simply tells as to why Honorable Ali Hassan Joho has been rejecting Raila Odinga's invitations for a meeting, for a Zimio Lomoja Alliance meeting, and also he has been trying in as much as possible to avoid meeting with Raila Odinga completely. So because of the bitter fallout uh, between Raila Odinga, Ali Hassan Joho, and several Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. Also, it simply means that uh, Ali Hassan Joho maybe he has defected from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance coalition. That is why he has been playing too low. He has been inactive so much 
in the Azimio Lomoja Alliance events. He is not participating in Azimio Lomoja Alliance politics. Also, the campaign or the anti roto demonstration rallies that Ray Lodinga has been conducting, Ali Hassan Joe will be on the forefront mobilizing, you know, being in charge of uh, of, of, of Azimio Lomoja Alliance events. Uh, re remember that Ali Hassan Joe was not elected. He did not vie for any political seat. So he is just there, just idle. So I think he should be on the forefront, just like Wajakoya, just like several Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders there. They are on the forefront of our participating in Ray Lodinga's anti ruto demonstrations. But Joho has been avoiding simply because maybe he has decided to defect from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. And remember that if you have if you have if you have officially defected from a certain political alliance, you will no longer be participating actively. Politics is all about interest, only interest and betrayal. In as much as your political activities, your political uh, agenda converge or they are parallel, then you can simply participate in uh, uh, several political events because you talk in one voice, because you agree on several uh, areas there. So that is why you must attend, you must participate actively in the political events. And also, it could be meaning that Honorable Ali Asanjo has decided to retire completely from politics. That is why you can see Ali Asanjo very much busy uh, with his own life. Uh, maybe uh, because politics immediately he retired as the governor of Mombasa County, he decided to exit uh, politics or his political career completely. If you have been following Honorable Ali Azanjo from his social media accounts, you can clearly tell that he has been touring around. Even I don't think if he is currently in this country, maybe he has gone out of the country because the last time I checked recently, he was in the US and also he was in Dubai, you know, just doing uh, his own life, conducting his own personal activities, running his own personal businesses and such kind of things. So maybe he decided to retire completely from uh, active politics across the country. That is why he has not been participating actively in Ray Lodinga's political events. And also, finally, maybe it is because uh, Honorable Ali Asanjo decided uh, became very angry and very bitter immediately Lelo Dinga shared the political positions without remembering him. Remember that there was that position, several positions, including the Ayala positions and several positions there of the opposition side. But Lelo Dinga never considered Honorable Ali Hassan Joho, despite the fact that he was on the forefront campaigning thoroughly for Rayla Mulo Dinga. So that was my analysis for today. I don't know what you think. What do you think about Honorable Alias and Joe boycotting Raylo Dinga's political events? That was my opinion. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much to add on. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Until next time, my name is Jason, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.